Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be Dignitas and SK. Two Danish teams playing against each other. One of them has been um, sort of uh, a little bit uh, handicapped by the fact that they've got a couple of new players playing instead of the old ones. So Config is out. We've got Sandin and then let's call him Magic Boy because I'm not buying this like Danish spelling of magic, which is uh, like if you're going to go with this name, then don't call yourself boy also, like, choose one or the other, don't mix the two. What What do you mean, Anders, though? Maybe he is, like, a magical, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to get this Well, going. you pronounce it then, because I could do it. Magisk. <laughs> it's a really good try. Uh, <laughs> Tensky playing in sight here. On the thing is how side, they are the favorite team right in here. SK have not won a single game yet in this tournament. We keep emphasizing it to make it even more painful for them. And it is going to be down to a three versus three here. Still more than a minute left in Pimp. Trying to see if he could get a kill crossing there. Shooting a little bit at Vasilian, I think that was. But he's inside the side, actually. And AC trying to see if he can hunt him down. Bomb is dropped now. And... Dignitas trying to see if they can go for this retake. AC and Pimp, the two heavy hitters, still alive right now. On well, the CT side, and Freeze going to pick up an important kill there. Now it's down to AC. One on one, he gets a headshot on Cadian. Freeze, the last man left. AC does not have a kit, so this game is very painful for him to play. And Freeze has already won the round. There's nothing AC can do any longer to win this. And Freeze, he knows it. Going to get the kill, but nothing else. So good start here for SK Gaming. God, he lives through it, AZ. Alright, alright. Well, yeah, great start. It all came down to Pimp, really. If Pimp could have got that kill onto Freeze and Checkered, that would have made all of the difference. Also, Freeze had like one of those glorious, just, you know, surprise, mo you know, moments. Where, uh, hiding under the vents, and the guy just goes charging through. I don't think that was Kirby. And, uh, yeah, just some unfortunate turns of events there for Dignitas in that retake. But SK, they're off to a strong start. They're looking good. Triple HE as well here for Dignitas. So where are they going to put him? Straight into mid, where there's nobody. Absolutely nobody. SK, Kadeen up there on the container on the other side, just laughing at him, saying, <laughs> thought he was going to get me that easily. Great flashbang. Bit of a shame he didn't commit to it, but um, he's going to get Pip anyway. Going to get him a cell as well. Kadeen, I think, definitely has some promise within the Danish scene, but has never found like a good home. Now five versus three. Hey, see with the jump scare in the back line. This has been proven effective a couple of times by none other than NBK. Mm -hmm. He was the man. He was the man, NBK. He'd find every abusive spot on the map and just make you hate his guts. He was so good at hitting jump scout shots. SK, though, they figured out what they need. They've got the info. And they're just leading the charge. Magisk boy. Just, <laughs> just call him Magic Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I think that uh, this guy, you know, this this guy's bringing uh, you know, some, some great qualities to the team. Magic boy, you know. It's, well, we'll see how he, how it pans out. You know, if it's if it's magic or if it's sorcery. I mean, here's the problem: when you create your nickname at some point, you know, you're just some random person playing on a random public server. You don't think about the fact that, hey, what if one day I do want to play professionally and get casted on like some international, you know, stream? Then, mm -hmm. you know, maybe my nickname isn't gonna make a lot of sense. People will just pick whatever they feel like. At least he isn't like some other players who are just like nickname themselves rape and stuff. You're like, yeah, that was yeah. bad. That's a Swedish play, right? That's a very bad nickname. That that shouldn't be a thing at all. That's not the best nickname. So I mean, he could have done worse, Anders. He could have done. There is someone has actually found the lower limit. But, um, <laughs> Freeze picking up two kills there at the end. So this is a lesson for all of you out there. You know, the twelve-year-olds that everyone hates on Global Offensive, even though everyone was twelve at some point. So so. Oh, that's the angle you're gonna take. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, go ahead. No reason I feel like to hate on the twelve-year-olds, especially. There are so many other people you could hate in the world. It's easy. Like just widen your view a little bit. It just, <laughs> I'll I'll teach you guys over time. But no, seriously. Um, you know, pick a good nickname. Don't don't pick something that's gonna sound absurd on a stream. Think ahead for when you're gonna become a pro. Exactly, for that day, that yeah. fateful day when you're on the stream. Yeah, 
and then we're having to come up with a different name for you because you happen to nickname yourself Rape. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly. I mean, Pimp is Pimp is kind of in the middle. Pimp, Pimp still name. works. I like it. That's 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 really good. I spot on though. Mm. It sounds good. You're so as well. biased. You're so biased. <laughs> it's only because he's Danish. Yeah. Now I have a little bit of affection for Pimp. I think he's uh, he's putting a lot of work in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey. yeah. Single flashbang on AZ makes me a little bit happy. They pop it into main and they find nobody. MSL on the other hand is gonna find a little bit too many people here, and um, that's gonna pretty much be the round here for SK. Acadian in the middle. That MP7 in hand. Be nice if he can pick up a couple of kills. He's gonna get the one more. Might be coming in. Tensky takes him out though. So it's the end of his reign of terror. With that SMG. Yeah. So Warcraft, Warcraft 3 expansion, man. Or Warcraft 3. What, Reign of Terror? Yeah. Wasn't it called that? I think I think Warcraft 3 was Reign of Terror. Reign, Reign of, of Chaos. Chaos, was it that? Chaos, Terror. Somebody tweet at me and tell me. I think t Warcraft 2 was Tides of Darkness, wasn't it? And I have no idea what Warcraft 1 was. I played the game, but it's too long ago. It's all about Frozen Throne or whatever it was. The Frozen Foam? Frozen Foam? <laughs> That's what we used to call it. Don't know why. AC gonna be the last man left, and in a round that didn't have too much action here, Asilian does pick up a triple kill, and Dayton's house couldn't really win it because as soon as um, as soon as they lost the player over at the uh, at the bomb site, a B bomb site, it was kind of done. So a little bit uneventful, but now we're gonna see what Dayton's house could do. They've got the AWP on PIMP, and um, fourth round is coming up. Oh yeah, boy! They start dropping them beats. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Pimp's like, I, I don't know what you heard about me. Just Someone can't get up. a dollar out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to believe that Pimp could heard about, could listen to 50 Cent. Oh, AC picking up two big kills here. Freeze and Sandin going down. And that makes it a 5 on 3 initially. Not exactly the best start here for SK, who really do need a lot of rounds on this T side, I feel like. Yes, indeed. Nice flash, though. That opens it up, but MSL's able to peek out behind it. He was playing from vents, so good crossfire established there in mid. They do shut down Cadian, and so it leaves Asilian and Maggi Skaboy as the last two alive for SK Gaming. They know that MSL is waiting up there, though, so there really is, like, no perfect way for MSL to get out unless he just fights his way out, Anders, and just kills everything. That's how it works. Triple kill for him. That's how all my Counter-Strike plans, you know, end. Kill everything. That's, kill always, that's always the final step. Pretty good stuff there. Apparently, oh, Graham, our wonderful uh, observer and, and you know organizer of many other things here at ESL, saying the first one's actually Orcs and Human, then it is, it is Reign of Chaos. It's, no, not, it's not Terror. Uh, Reign of Terror sounds uh, more there like, must have been know, one Thor not an analyst-esque. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, Lord Thorin. Yes. Yeah. I think that's a good name for it. I like that. Thorin's Reign of Terror. Oh, okay. Sandin. He's got him trapped in the corner. Nice headshot. Ready for the second one as well. Nice pick up on Sandin. And actually, I mean, Sandin is another Danish player who hasn't really found like a good home, but we've seen him actually come up with some pretty big rounds uh, whenever he's been he's been around here. I feel like him and Katie, you know, there's a couple of people like that. Asilian too. These are actually just like all the people who can't seem to find like a stable home, but they've all got like pretty decent skills. So it wasn't Sandin received, like... Wasn't he removed from the roster for Motti or something along those lines, and now he's back? Yeah. What's going on? Now yeah, Motti's gone, Convict's gone. <laughs> Dude, this is like old Danish, right? This Where it's is, just yeah. like, musical chairs, who's going to be on the team this week? Exactly. Exactly, and you're just like, ah, oh, yes, all is, all is well in the world. Back to its natural state. Where uh, the teams are just going to be pug life. <laughs> you know, <laughs> with the pimp. All right, let's see. Quick one for one over here on the B side. They do manage to get in, actually. MSL, flash, nice bank flash, actually going to hold him back. And still, he spots the bomb making its way onto the bomb site. So this is a, actually, I'd say, advantage SK. Unfortunately for Kadian, nobody's going through mid. So he's going to be a little bit late to actually get to the party if he loses his teammates here. Freeze, flashed, and then dead. Magic Boy going to pick up the one kill. AC now with the double MSL to go down, and AC looking for a quad kill. He has actually three that he's got right now. Kadian trying to buy time in the back lines as that bomb is ticking away, and AC's looking for him. He's going to be quick about this. Down to one health, and Kadian goes down. AC, has he got the time? He's got the kit this time. It should be just enough time for him to win this round. Very scary indeed. Three rounds here for SK, but Dignitas are going to pick up a second one. 
Nice clutch from AZ and also a quad kill. Yeah, also the quad kill. I mean, thanks AZ, basically. He just said, you know, guys, hop on my back and I'll take you to wonderful places, i.e. map wins. He's sitting on 9-1 and 2 right now and again, just coming through. KRV, man, what is going on, KRV? You are not allowed to drop a James Bond in this server. And Alex picked him before he walked out on us angrily earlier um, for his for his uh, Vulcan team. Did I did say? Did, I, uh, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Should take heed, Alex, and listen. You know, when, when we young pup, yeah. we will uh, instruct you. He does have great shirts, though. He does actually. That. Yeah, it was a good combination. I don't know why he's he's constantly sounds so uncertain about his shirt combinations. They actually look pretty good. It's like, bro, have confidence in yourself, Alex. Believe. That's right. That's right. Oh. Smoke up in the middle. AC. I feel like he shouldn't be playing the scouting role in the middle, but just for health. Um, I would much rather have him play by the truck or something right now. And then maybe let Pimp take control of the middle, because uh, one grenade is going to be all it takes. Even, even for off in the distance. Anywhere on the map and he'll die. That may be a little much. Yeah, that might be a bit of a stretch. What isn't, though, is a trade one for one. Sandin, Molotov, still gets the spray down, and he gets out dodge. Perfect, and now Pimp waiting on the other side. He's going to have to take a point-blank shot here if he wants to get this done. How aggressive is he? Can he make it around the corner in time? The smoke is actually messing up his angle. There it is, right on the edge. Finds Magisk Boy, breaks his wand, and now it's going to be down to Kadian and Sandin to hold him off. And they're in a very bad spot here at the back of the bomb site. Kadian actually great job for him to push out. That's very smart. But Pimp gonna pick up the last two kills, making it a triple for himself. Um, but Kadian, if they had just stuck behind the bomb site, first of all, I'm pretty sure some of the things are still at Molotov in play, so they wouldn't have been able to stay there for more than a couple of seconds anyway. And I feel like Kadian had to try and push out. The fact that he only got the one kill and not both is, I don't know. That still doesn't mean it was a was a bad choice for him. So um, yeah, he he realized because you can't play that a bomb site like that. You kind of have to. You have to be a bit more uh, proactive. Score is tied. Match is paused. Yeah, match is paused. And we wonder what is happening. Yeah, Kirby, thank you for pointing that out, Graham. One kill on one of the youngest players in the, CS, uh, in the pro CS scene right now. But one kill. So he dodged the James Bond, at least. And... Uh, in the meantime, in the meantime, I mean, actually, it's, it really is in Denmark, it seems like, that where you have so many young players coming to the fore. Asilian, AC, Pimp, yeah. KRV. I mean, it's like... There is actually a logical reason why this is. Ah, um, enlighten us. It's because there's actually a pretty strong culture in Denmark of, like, small local lands mm -hmm. uh, where people go to play. And, like, whenever you see Copenhagen games roll around, for instance, sure. which is, like, the, the bigger land, even then you see, like, a... a just a, a plethora of really weird Danish teams with weird names, people you've never heard of. But you see actually some of the names sort of come back year after year. People are just used to going to lands and playing. So sometimes, every once in a while, you know, someone does show up and actually play pretty well and, and they get noticed and they get uh, in contact with some of the pro players maybe. And you know, it, there's like a whole, a whole culture like that. So um, yeah, if, I mean, I wish it was possible in other countries to build up something similar because it is very, very, it's a very effective way to, to sort of get uh, some experience for uh, for people. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. Not a doubt, Copenhagen Games is awesome. Yeah, but there's some, like, Net Party Foon, and there's, like, there's a whole... There's a lot, Wait, can you say lot, that again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of different, uh, a lot of different uh, lands like that. Tensky gonna try and fall back here. MSL with the opening frag and Danius has it's currently three rounds in a row for them. They're looking for more. AC gonna be able to kill and MSL to help out now. Magic Boy and Sandin left and oh, jumping on his face and he's not gonna be allowed to do that. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. You don't do damage with your boots, unfortunately, in this game, MSL. But, you know, A for effort. Magic Boy gonna show his uh, smoke trick. And, uh, <laughs> oh man. All right, I'm gonna stop. But, <laughs> 1v4 there in the end, really, you know, he could have pulled all the rabbits out of the hat. Wouldn't have done him any good. It would be fun if you could kick people, just like in Duke Nukem back in the day. The kick. Then you could kick with both feet at the same time for no reason. <laughs> and then... It's like, how are you still static? <laughs> but Four, it's true. three. How would that work, you know, if you actually, like, jumped? Maybe on your teammates it's all right, right? Or, you, you know, it'd be never worthwhile to boost anybody ever because you'd just be doing, like, team damage all the time. But what about if you landed on a T-side, you know, like, if you're a CT, you land on a terrorist? 
do like five damage or something. I feel like uh, they can certainly make for fun. I don't know if it'd be more than that. Good kills from MSL Triple. Not gonna get the last couple of kills in there, but still nobody dies. Hardly anybody even takes damage here on Dingtar side. Five rounds in a row for the CT side. Economy starting to build up near 9,000 on Pimp there. And uh, we'll see if SK can find a way back in. A lot of Molotovs and the AWP on Freeze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now they actually have the money for the AWP, so Freeze, don't really feel like he's had uh, too many opportunities to shine. I mean, he is sitting on five frags, though, but we need to, we need those big op rounds where he just lays his opponents low. And right now, interesting take here from Bignitas. They do put one guy solo onto the A side, all the way back at quad boxes, and it is PIMP with the AWP. And can he actually find a KILL? <laughs> and somebody please stop at me. <laughs> Anders, please. I'm just going to let you continue to dig, you know. I'm just watching from the side, you know. There's no backing. There's no, there's no controlling it. It'll, it'll end at some point, surely. Well, <laughs> setting up for it here. Let's see if they can put out some smokes. MSL's still up here, and they have got a Molotov raining in, and it's kind of a split second of choice, but he's going to end up falling back. He could have ran into the middle, uh, trying to help out Kirby. He needed the help, because now he's dead instead. Sandin to pick up the kill, just barely surviving himself. 45 seconds, the ball making its way back here, and that's a big kill on Magic Boy from Tenski. Kadian going to try and run in here. Is they going to check the corner? I think he realized someone's in there. MSL gets one frag, but he's very low on health. Ends up dropping down. Our next in line, Tenski now for a triple. And that's going to be the round. And six on a row for Dignitas. Yeah, six. I mean, this is when the pain train is left to say the station, Anders. And also, Magisk Boy, like, if he'd have just been a second earlier into Toxic, he would have seen MSL dropping out of Vents. He would have got that free kill as MSL was trying to get away from Vents as the Molotov was thrown in there. You know, it's just like those little timings. The communication needs to be a little bit better on SK because that's a golden opportunity. You take out MSL, then it's just Tenski on that B site. He can't challenge you, and you can set up for your take. Just, just MSL staying alive kind of threw a wrench in things for SK. So, no bomb plant either means, you know, it's, it's kind of a mixed buy here. What the hell is AC doing? No flash, no nothing. Maybe a little bit too brave here. Molotov horribly failed. That was supposed to block out that squeak though, so Asilian couldn't make it out. Now, let's see if SK can actually use this to their advantage. Uh, an early kill, a failed Molotov, and a lot of grenades coming in from their point of view. Pimp gonna try and push his way through. Kirby trying to play the edge of the smoke. MSL picks a kill. Kirby gets one more, and that's the bomb drop all the way in the corner. Asilian gets one, and a second as well. And now it's looking good. One on three for MSL. Whoa, Asilian. He just got, he just single-handedly brought SK Gaming back into this round. Now, bomb gets planted. Asilian's still alive on that bomb side. He's looking for a fourth kill here in this round. Got everything he needs, and he just gets the shot through the smoke. What a round from Asilian. Individual performance making all of the difference, especially after the first man through that smoke literally donates the bomb over to Dignitas, dropping it behind Quad. So it had to be Asilian to bring it back, and he actually managed it in fine style. So that's the kind of individual play that we need to be seeing here from SK, because it doesn't really seem like, you know, tactic-wise, you know, they, 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 they're going to cut it, right, Anders? It's not, it's not quite there. Oh. It's a bit scary if they need one guy to pick up a quad kill for them to start winning the rounds. I feel like if not for a silly and that round could have been playing out a little bit differently. Kirby looked like he was in a pretty good position behind that smoke, so a bit scary. Still, Freeze will open up and they kill AC, which has been uh, the, the heavy hitter here. Well, just, did he peek in? I think didn't have like the icon for the shot for the wall, so I'm guessing he probably took a peek in. Or maybe AC is playing here. forklift? I'm not sure. Yeah, look at Tenski though. He knows what's coming. He hears the steps. Flash into garage. The steps are there. So now SK are going to be the ones aware that somebody's up close here for the CT side. And yeah, Freeze, you see him just kind of scoped up right on the other side of this smoke, waiting to see. Once this smoke clears, Tenski, it's going to be the big moment and it's not going to happen. Freeze shuts him down. Sandin takes out MSL at the same time. And that's the B site completely open here for SK Gaming to just go pushing in there. Get that bomb plant down fast enough. Although Pimp has something to say about that. What a shot mid-air. Perfect timing. <laughs> it's really quite impressive. I don't think he'd like to change the outcome of the round, but it looks so good when it happens. Kirby and Pimp should really save what they have here. Even if they've been winning a couple of rounds in a row, it's still, uh, well, six rounds in a row. It's still not quite good enough. I think they need to run away and uh, save, especially the AWP. But Kadian, going to be uh, 
perfect position, so nothing is saved for Demon's House. And it will be a round here for SK, putting it at 6 5. Mm -hmm. This is starting to get into uh, the realm of the acceptable here for SK. Nice shot here by Pimp, though. Perfectly done. But it is it is now, I mean, five rounds, T side, that's starting to look pretty good. And a force spike coming out from Dignitas as well. So Dignitas, they're really wanting to risk it. They don't want to let SK get past six rounds. So then it starts to mean, you know, work. They actually have to work in their second half to get the job done. If they can keep SK at five rounds, this should be, a you know, easy enough for Dignitas to just lock out this map. But if SK get ahead... Dignitas just want to, you know, they, they, they want to finish this map and go to sleep. You know, they don't want this to last any longer than it has to. Especially when both of these teams are going to be very hard-pressed to make it to the land. Well, I think that ship sailed for SK. For SK, yeah. Not a single win in the league. Unless every other team retires from the league and just says, that's it. Kebi will get the kill. Drops down. Could have probably picked up that kill on the silly. It looked like he had to... A bit of a jump on him there. AC spots him crossing on over and makes his way down towards the bomb site. MSL there to help him out as well. Four on four right now, 50 seconds left. And SK continue their march onto the bomb site and they're going to be successful. Silly with the team frag and oh, Pip and Tensky picking up one. Now it's down to Kadian versus Tensky. That team kill could have cost them a hell of a lot right here. Kadian waiting in the back lines, AWP in hand. He really, really wants Tensky to come and peek him, and he might just get his wish, and there it is. A lot of patience, and that's going to give them the round and tie the score. What an incredibly chaotic situation. And a smoke execute as well at the end. What happened to the two guys that were holding on the site? MSL was one of them. But just the fact that they get overwhelmed completely without having any impact. If it wasn't for the man on upper, this would have just completely fallen apart for Dignitas. But okay then, okay then. SK, they've got a solid game on their hands. How much would this hurt Dignitas if they like if they were to be the first win here for SK? You know, this is De Denmark versus Denmark. There's a lot of, you know, smack talk involved here. Or yeah. Pride on the line. I definitely feel like it would be it would be a big thing. Uh, quite quite an upset, I would say as Katie well. will never let him forget at least. Never. A good chance, I think, though, for for a bunch of these players to to prove themselves a little bit here. Playing very uh, carefully, in SK. There was, there was one time in global offensive history where there were where there were like three really good Danish teams that had a lot to say. That was Copenhagen Wolves, Western Wolves, and Fnatic, the the original Fnatic lineup. So maybe we could find our way back there someday. But um, AC with a nice strong opening here, gonna try for a second one, but not gonna be successful. Pimp, similar position. Looks like it's gonna be just fine here as Sicilian. Sand and then Magic Boy all picking up a couple of kills. Tensky trying to see if he could do more damage with the Deagle. Not going to happen. Laid to rest. They all just look so peaceful at the end, Anders. Like they're taking a nap. Chilling. Chilling, you know? It's like A OK, A. -okay. Seven and six. Relaxing, lounging. In the players' club, yeah, with some of that lounge music that we have to deal with at the hotel. It's the same song on repeat for ten hours a day. Yeah, that's freaky. I don't know how the people can stay working there. It was like that the other day. A lot of grenade damage it seems put out early on here to the SK lineup, but um, honestly, I'm pretty impressed by SK right now. If they win, just, I mean, even if they don't win any more rounds here, seven rounds still pretty good on the on the T side. If they win the next round, who knows if they can't jump all the way up to nine just because Dignitas is going to be so low. But they are flanking in behind Sandin. He gets a kill on Kiabi, but now they're going to be able to wrap around quick enough. MSL spray, not getting the kill just yet. There it is. And now Pip going to make his way out back here. Bomb just about to go down. Grenade right in front and Magic Boy almost dead in the corner. Should be an easy round from here on out for Dignitas. It's going to be the one kill in and Asilian all the way in the back lines. They did kind of line up for him, but still MSL with a nice triple and Pip. He flanked and got no kills. That's mm -hmm. a bit weird. Uh, he was just there to draw the attention, it seems. It's like, yeah, guys, it's happening over here. And then MSL's like, okay. And then MSL's just, you know, lead by example, right? He just goes in and decides, okay, enough's enough. Time for me to just go ahead and get the work done by myself, right? Guess that's what has to happen here. You know, and just walks in and gets a triple. Uh, the, the, the pressure. When your in-game leader is the one leading the frags, you know, that there's a bit of an issue going on. Pimp is sitting on eight. Kirby on five. 13 for AZ. 
Yeah, it's what Sponge always says whenever you talk to him from, from Renegades. You know, I shouldn't be at the top of the scoreboard. It should be somebody else. So, um, don't know how MSL feels about that, but you're right. Definitely be nice to see a little bit more out of the rest of uh, Dignus House right now. Kadian waiting in the middle and Pimp covering that A bomb side. Very much alone indeed, but uh, some some heavy defense in the middle right now between KRB and MSL. Yeah, that crossfire, they're just waiting. And KRB, I mean, Freeze is boosted up. Does Freeze look down? He's going to have Kadian there to watch his back, though, so this could still work out. I don't know, rather it's Sandin. So connector smoke goes down. KRB still waiting real close. Molotov's flashes, everything waiting for it. Asilian gets the flash and Kirby pff, assassinated. Kadian, he's there in time. MSL tries to do the best that he can. Picks up one. AC, though, is going to have an impact. He gets two kills. That turns the tide completely. And now it's going to go over to Tenski, who's waiting on that B site. SK waiting right outside, ready to push onto it. Yeah, and they're taking their time, which is not uh, going to make e things even worse for them here. 38 seconds, headshot on one, Magic Boy all alone, and he goes down to Pimp, so 8-7 at the end, and I mean, I would still say this is a pretty good victory for SK first half, but it's definitely not uh, done yet. The question is if they can hold on to it in the second half. Yeah, they're really going to have that coordination set. Ooh, that's a nice name. Straight up. But are they going to have that coordination on the CT side when basically you have two, well, like one and a half stand-ins? I mean, Magic Magic's Boy is like, I'm just going to keep calling him that Anders, by the way. But Magic Boy, I mean, he's hanging around here. He's he's clearly just like flat out stand-in. I mean, he's got the Cloud9 Spooder Man going. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Sandin, you know, he, he should have a little bit of an idea at least of what SK want to do. So it should still be feasible here for SK. That and I think that Dignitas are finally starting to realize, wait, 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 wait. Like, they might have underestimated them at the beginning, thinking that this should be like a free map win, that sort of thing. And I think Dignitas are now realizing, wait a second, we actually have to work a little bit here to get this win. Let's just farm some points over this, uh, off this team here, yeah, yeah. You could be right. Off these Danish scrubs, and then they're like, wait, but we're Danish. <laughs> yeah, good start though. AC and MSL for a kill each. Magic Boy playing at the truck, missing a bunch of shots, missing all the shots. And Pimp will take him out, so Asilian and Sandin are left here, two versus five. Trying to see if they can remedy the situation, or if not that, just to restore some pride. No pride restored, none saved, <laughs> everyone dead. <laughs> no, none restored at all. In fact... complete humiliation. I think they feel a little bit like that, uh, that Spooder Man in uh, Magic Boys <laughs> avatar right now, just herp. Maybe like the unreal version of it. Humiliation. Oh, yes. Good times. Have you tried the new unreal? Mm -mm. Me neither. But I, I, people that I know it's worth an won't, ad, yeah. won't, stop, uh, won't stop talking about it. So. Really? Yeah. I have like no interest whatsoever. Actually, it's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> like none. I kind of like unreal and quake type games. Um, I mean, Quake, sure, but no, I'm going to make some people thing. angry lobbing those two games together. But uh, <laughs> MSL, you started a war. Yeah, MSL will actually go down, but he was lucky around over at B uh, while the red. Oh, freeze. That's a nice double tap there onto AC. Bomb is down, though, and because they don't have a kit on SK and they're so far away, they would essentially have to run and just rush in here. Otherwise, they just won't have any time. Well, like this slowdown has probably lost them the round already. Like they, they would have had to have run very fast to get here on time. Well, uh, yeah, just all these frags basically are what's going to shut it down. Sandin has an MP7, hoping to make a little bit more money. And Tenski is low, but then Kyrie steps in, joins the party, and again, nothing there really for SK. They get the three kills. There, there is that. But you know, that's how I feel. Like, cause I did, I did like um, some people realized go, go and visit Blizzard, mm -hmm. and. People talk about you know, FPS games like Counter Strike. Yeah. yeah, they say like Counter Strike. They say like Call of Duty and Battlefield. And like, I'm, like it's just Inside like your insight. mind. It's just like, it's like <laughs> don't don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Stuart is actually reminding us that humiliation is quite not unreal. That could have been true. Kirby to go down here, SK trying to defend, but Dignitas are just picking, just picking up this round very easily. Some presence on B here, three in fact, but um, wasn't anywhere near enough. 11-7 being the scoreline, and finally, SK team can pick up some rifles. Freeze with the AWP, see if it's going to make a difference. Towards the end of the half, he was starting to get some kills, but he's still in single digits, Freeze, so 
you know, now you have the op. Now's your time to shine. Shut down the pimp. Take his turf away from him. I can't remember what triggers the humiliation call. Is that when you get gauntleted in, yeah. in Quake? Humiliation. Yeah. yeah. That wasn't a very good impression, but that's that's what happens. We'll work. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. Get sued by ID. The problem is, it's like you can't. It's like too deep. Like. No. It's not gonna <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding my hand out here dramatically as well as like this is Hamlet or something. Like <laughs> trying to summon the. The voice. Oh, You're gonna come see. back. There's gonna be like a pentagram on my forehead. I think we can make it work one day. I'm gonna go and practice in front of the mirror. See if I can do it. MSL is down to half health and a little bit of damage onto AC and Kebu still, but um, otherwise a fairly slow round, all things considered here. Nothing much happening across the map as freezes and the corner waiting. They do have some Molotovs for him. If he misses a shot, then he's likely going to get burnt out of this corner. And I'm liking the fact that he moves on this side because it's a lot easier to escape uh, some damage here. And he can still try and take a shot. Now he goes back into it and Pimp ready and waiting. Now it's going to leave Magic Boy on the bomb site. 35 seconds here for Dignitas. That's a bit of a slow round. A nice flashbang for the peak there. But in the middle, Kebby is going to go down and now... See what Magic Boy's made of here. He's going to spray down one with a headshot. Goes for a second one. It's MSL down. A good double kill. Still six bullets left. And they almost line up for him. It's going to be Cillian going down next. And AC to fall to Kadian. Sandin also picking up a kill there at the end. So good job. I think Magic Boy, he uh, had a nice hold there. He lived up to his name. Yeah. That double kill. I think, I, you know, at the, at the first where he sprays very quickly at Pimp, who was waiting in a main behind that flash, right? Uh, he looked, little, looked a little chaotic, you know, looked a little panic sprayish, you know, just like, ah, you know, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm thinking already, you know, is the pressure getting to him of playing online and these kinds of matches, blah, blah, blah. But that, no, that was perfectly done. Those two follow up kills, excellent work from Magic Boy. He even turned away from the flash in time. I mean, that's the kind of level that we need to see right now if SK are going to have a shot at holding off Dignitas' push. AC and, well, Sandin each getting a frag, trading frags, four on four now, and AC's got the hero AK. Kebby yeah, kind of almost making himself a beacon through that smoke by, by putting the eagle shots in there, so... Good shot in return by Sandin. AC has this AK, see if he could, uh... Do some damage with it. He's thinking a Cillian is up there, and he's not wrong either. So many angles to cover. Now they're all covering the same angle, which is a... Bit of a mistake, potentially. Yeah, especially with the bait and switch there. Shot from mid, they focus on it, and then Asilian, he gets the timing to peek out. They are trying to rush out onto the B side. Asilian is reloading as well. Where is this guy? He's vanished! Asilian is still there. He takes out Tenski, but he's going to get caught out by MSL. Just too many people for him to deal with there on that B side. They just all went cascading in there. And even with the two players in checkered, it wasn't enough for SK. So it is going to come down to Magisk Boy. <laughs> this... <laughs> This is it! Let's see if he could do it. He's got one flashbang. They don't know exactly where he's coming from, so that's a bit of an advantage, but... MSL spotting him out and not gonna get the kill, and that's a big issue now. He's gonna make it around the corner, gets the one frag in, and in the corner, hiding is gonna be AC. He does have a kit here, so a little bit more time on him. Tabs it once, and AC just gonna shoulder peek him. Now he's gonna hold it down and just try and see if he can make it work. AC putting the shots in, and that's gonna be a quad kill. Winning the round with the AK that he started with, and that's gonna be a big step in the right direction for Dignitas now. Four round lead, and no money for SK. Yeah, another quad kill, another quad kill on the board for AC. Leading by a fair margin now, up to 24 frags total, but yeah, AC just continues to do work for Dignitas. And that resets things for SK, you're right, no more money left. Freeze on $1,400, it's a double eco situation here for SK, and they really don't have that many rounds to be playing with, because if they do take the double eco, then Dignitas are up on 14 rounds, and it's pretty much, it's pretty much just going to be match point. That, that, that will be it. And so, full stack on the B side, yes, thank you for SK Gaming, but only a single upgraded pistol for them, so odds are still pretty slim of them being able to pull this off. Well, Kebu's making it a bit toasty in there for them. Uh, he's also the only one hanging out, so just to pretending to, to be there. Kadian by the truck, and are they going to realize that's all there is here at the A side of the map? It seems like maybe they have got a clue that that's going on. Well, they've got a player in the middle of the terror side to hear anyone rotating through, so now I think pretty much Davis has no that this is it. Yeah, and Dignitas, like, AC, he is everything in here. Mm -hmm. He hears all these steps, and then he even manages to find a nice headshot on the freeze. However, he's not fast enough to pull off 
the 180. Nice HE though, but then Mazzy Spoy up close with the Deagle, finds the headshot onto Kirby. MSL showing fear, and that's what happens when you try to run away. Mazzy Spoy, there's no evading a Magician Anders. He'll just track you. He's got that ace up his sleeve there. Picking up a couple of kills. He did go down eventually. Yo. Pimp beating the Magician. I'm not sure. Tensky and Pimp are left, and they're going to be able to survive the round as well. No, no rifles actually. Oh, there's the AK picked up by Kadian and one by Sandon, so they get that out of it. But um, it's going to be enough actually to trigger a buy on their part as well. Mm -hmm. They need it. They are starting to fall a little bit too far behind at this point in time. They need that room for air. They need that one round where it's like, okay, we we lose a round. It's not match point. They need to, if they can stop them at Dignitas at 13. There's a chance for them to run this back just to be able to be able to make a mistake in one round down the line and then they reset Dignitas's economy. You know, that's that's how Kadian at least is trying to play it out in his mind right now by going for this buy. But all the pressure is on Dignitas and Dignitas, I mean, they have all the money. They have everything they need. Molotovs across the board, all the smokes, an AWP on Pimp. And Dignitas aren't really making too much noise. They aren't really trying to bully SK into using their nades early. Ooh, Cillian. One pop in. It would have been nice if someone could have peeked behind it. He's going to try and go for it again. Something that Freiburg loves doing, playing checkered here, but um, not going to be a kill. He does sort of make them back up a little bit, so um, I guess he got something out of it. Free sneaking close. If Pimp is the shot, he's going to be gone. He shoulder peeks it once, misses it. And Free still has 15 more bullets for anyone trying to follow up on this. MSL going to get the frag before he makes it around the corner. So still a good trade, but a little bit annoying probably for Pimp. Yeah, we've lost a Cillian in the meantime. And now Kirby, he can actually catch out Sandin here as well if Sandin decides to peek to get that info. Bomb is making its way towards B Halls, but right now it could go either way still. Comes down, I think, to whoever's waiting, whoever's lurking over in uh, Squeak, and that's Tensky right now. 25 seconds. He's hearing long. the steps. He's hearing the steps, and he should have heard the steps for two right there. Yeah, that. there we go. MSL instantly, they start to rotate over to the A site. Perfectly done. This is all thanks to Tensky hearing both players run away for SK. What prompted that rotation on SK's side? I think somebody threw a flashbang on the B side of the map. I don't know, like it was something very small. Bomb is about to go down. SK just they don't even care anymore. Just like, nope. Guess that was that round. Yeah, I was. They're, just, they're probably thinking like, maybe it was a gamble. Maybe it was just like, okay, we go B. If they, if they come B, great. If they don't, we save the guns. I can't believe that though. Yeah. Really good uh, play. I mean, it's nice to be able to catch those small details there. Uh, it's not always that we have exact info on, like, you know, who knows what. But, mm -hmm. like, you're right. He heard them running away. So easy enough call for Dignitas to make a, a rotation there. I like it a lot. Well, 14 rounds going to be coming up here for Team Dignitas. A six-round lead SK. If they had gone for it and failed the retake, they would have had nothing. So at least now they can... They can make something work here, but it's still a little bit tricky for them. Demon's House, they are the better team, and I feel like it's it's sort of turning out the way that it should, but I, I'm a dis bit disappointed here in the second half, because I was I was excited for SK picking up those seven rounds. Yeah, you're kind of hoping for more, especially when it's just going to come down to like raw aim in a way. Nice initial nade, but yeah, Dignitas are showing no respect. YOLO, straight out, through the smoke, onto the A side. Magisk boy, it's time! Alright, you're gonna pick up the one kill here. And Freeze will take down MSL, but they did trade KD in. In the meantime, we'll see if it's gonna be quite enough here. Freeze on the ladder, fumbling about a little bit. He's gonna end up going down. Tensky just going mad here. Three kills, down to 90 health, still doing just fine. And Sandin suddenly all alone. It looked like it was a good start for SK, but obviously not good enough. No, it, yeah, it looked like they had everything going for them there. Magisk, he started off strong with the one kill. Freeze was there as well. They, <laughs> they, actually, <laughs> they actually managed to get two kills. Ah. And that's also just a... Well, it's not necessarily disrespect. I mean, it's, it's a calculated risk for MSL. We can end it really early by just run, rushing in, and we still have plenty of rounds, and we have money. So it's not the end of the world if we lose this one round. So it's just like you, you go, for the, go for the jugular, and this time MSL actually got it. So match and map point here for Team Dignitas SK about to lose their 10th match, I think, in, in the tournament. Is that mm. true? Uh, 11th. 11th. They're oh, 0 no. and 10 right now. No fun at all. Ugh, that's so painful. Especially considering the players on this team. I mean, Freeze. 
magic points. <laughs> Man, it's harsh. It's hard not to be harsh in this situation as well. Or at least it's 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 pronounced Megisk. Megisk. Yeah. Okay. Th th but let's not th say that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, AC down to 30 health and Freeze going to be turning around here. MSL and AC picking up a kill. Another one for MSL and seems like this final round is just going to be completely slaughter in favor of uh, Team Dignitas Sandin. Little fortress up here, looking behind, gonna spray down one, and you're not gonna get the second. Quad kill for MSL, who must have been in the uh, top fracking at the end. He's doing a really fine job, so it like, high 20s, I think, at the end for him. Between it's gonna be the game. Yeah. Between him and AC, they just did basically everything. Pimp, everybody kind of showed up. Second second half, that's kind of what we expected at the end, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, there was a little bit of a struggle on CT side. You're not too sure of what the tendencies are gonna be, especially kind of like a puggy style team, which is essentially what SKR with two stand-ins. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, you know whereas, what we've learned tonight. If you want to be a magician, learned? you're gonna have to be on an IP. That's how it works. Yeah. How would you say I'm uh, like a because uh, it's just magic right there, like Megis. How would you say a magician? No, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're gonna a lot of Danish. No, no. Danish. Danish. It's too weird. Danska. Yeah. <laughs> we'll leave. We'll let you do the Danish. Now we'll just. Uh, I'll just we'll do the Danska. Yeah. <laughs> I get, it. I get. It. Whenever we do events in Sweden, ev like everyone's always trying to make me do it. You know, it's like, come on, speak a little, little bit Danish. Well, no, no, dude. Everybody, every, all the time, they're always just coming to be like, so where in the UK is Anders from? And I'm just like, <laughs> he's not anywhere near the UK. He's actually, you know, uh, a Viking. Yeah, yeah, and then everyone assumes that you're French Canadian as well. So we've got some good stuff going on there. Have you never heard somebody from French Canada speak like Quebec? <laughs> you would not think that I'm from Quebec. I get that a lot. I get that a lot. Well, look, guys, we yeah. don't have anything more for you this evening, unfortunately. Um, so that's pretty much it. That, mm -hmm. that VP, I think, Fnatic match ended up being the best one, which maybe was predictable over time. Wow. Fnatic taking Top it away. Top four but teams. Yeah. Some good stuff right there. Um, question is, when are we going to be back? These are all the results you can tell here. Some some, some fairly one-sided matches, but then they had that, that overtime game in the middle of everything here. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I'm wondering... When we're gonna resume the league, because we've got the majors coming up as well. Well, we have. There are still three days going on in the after super this league, one. in the super week, in the super week. Super. So we've done the the first three days of the super week. Super week. And then the next three days of the super week are going to be done by the super um, ESL crew because they are getting back. Well, they're going to be back here. They're yeah. Back now. So and a part of me. And Saturday, Sunday. Who the hell's going to play Saturday and Sunday? I know some dedicated teams we've got out there. Wow. Okay, right. so and apparently Saturday and Sunday next week as well, guys. There's a lot of ESL ESCA coming up, and all of that going into, obviously, the World Championship, the Major, and happening next week. Yeah. Uh, Trolling there soon. That's going to be interesting. Um, yeah. Yes. Uh, we've got, got the groups out now. Hiko was uh, <laughs> a little Them bit groups. upset. I, you know, Titan, uh, Titan are just, Titan, yeah, they can't catch a break. Like, Titan, VP, and Nip is who they're in group with, right? Yeah, and then they also have, um, they have Liquid with them as well. Yeah, Liquid in there. So, you know, there's, a, there's actually, that's probably, you know, because this is obviously like the most stacked major pretty much like ever. Because yeah. there, are, there are no freebies. There's no like Asian team or Australian teams or anything in it. It's like... Nothing but the best because you had to earn your spot where everybody was there at yeah. that uh, at that uh, qualifier. So yeah, these groups, even even like the not stacked like group of death where it's like group C or group D, you yeah, know, yeah, even think, the other ones yeah. look really scary. Even the other yeah. ones are like, hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a real tough competition. So um, that's where you can catch us next, I believe. So um, yeah. thank you so much for being with us here this evening, and we'll be back soon enough to continue the league as well. We're um, how many? Ra is it five weeks in now? Six weeks. I Six weeks in, and we've got ten weeks in total. So uh, there is still more to come in the league. Yeah. You guys should keep up to date with it, and you know where to get it as well. Uh, we've been giving you all the links all evening. So definitely uh, stay up with that and uh, keep watching Counter Strike. We'll be back soon enough. So uh, have a good evening, and we'll see you soon.